Okay, let's go. What is happening, everybody? Welcome to a special lecture on planet Earth coming through Facebook to you, your neighborhood coach, <laughs> friendly neighborhood coach, favorite creativity catalyst on the net, Archangel Raziel's energetic presence splashing through the internet to give you this message. If you're new to this and wondering why I'm listening to this guy who looks like Kumar from White Castle or Aziz Ansari talking about angels and underslept and stuff, hmm, there you go. You are on your way to becoming one of the greatest people on the planet for having that kind of a filter. Anyway, aesthetic. So we don't want to be fat, right? We don't want to be stupid. But we use the word I don't a lot. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't. What happens is we as people, we start to state negative conditions. Okay? If you study psychology in the mind, you know this already, but things like I don't know this. I don't want to be used. I don't want to stress. I don't want to complain. And so normally when you're stating what you're doing, you're stating what you don't want. So naturally what you're doing is you're focusing on that thing. Does that make sense? When you were saying, I don't want something, you are literally creating the image of that thing. So it's, it's the whole pink elephant theory. Like, don't, don't think of pink elephants. Don't think of pink elephants. What do you think of? What happens is your mind goes, I don't want to be fat. What does fat look like? In order for it to process what you're telling your subconscious mind, is the mind first needs to create the image, the image of said, fat, sad, etc. That version of you. Look at the 2016 election. All those people saying, don't vote for Trump, actually gave him more exposure and helped him to win. Now, we have to get to the crux of this because all of our parents growing up, we would hear this all the time. In our heads, don't do this, don't do that, don't, stop what you're doing. You see parents out there listening to this message right now. What you're actually doing is you are creating those circumstances. You are filling your kids' heads with this imagery. There were these anti-smoking commercials that I looked up a while ago. They, they were paid by the tobacco companies. Now that, that sounds ironic, doesn't it? I was asking around and make sure that this is what I was told, that they had to fight some kind of lawsuit. They lost a lawsuit and so they had to let people know that smoking was bad. So, but anybody who smokes, and people listening to this will agree with me on this, anybody who smokes knows that it kills them. What those ads were doing is filling your subconscious with these negative images and you think they don't know this, parents? You're not deterring someone by telling them what they already know. The, the way the mind works is the images, they stack on top of one another into your subconscious mind. So here's the way to do it. Coming from a coach who's worked with this specifically, the way I would handle this is, is with a quote. And that quote goes, very enlightening quote, especially for me, it, it's, where there is light, there is no darkness. Okay, where there is light, there is no darkness. What this means with the mind is super important. If you're just tuning in on this, uh, listening, uh, this is about the mind, okay? This lecture is about the mind. There, okay, so where this knowledge, where there is knowledge, there is no ignorance. Where there is light, there is no darkness. Where there is knowledge, there is no ignorance. Once you learn that my name is Zoom, you can't ignore it. When I eat something, 
it stops my hunger, right? So instead of fighting the darkness where there's sadness, shine the happiness. You have to think about happiness. You have to think about being fit, healthy. You have to think about positive images, right? Positive imagery or imago, as we say in the theater world. If you're broke and you're buying into the stereotype of broke college student with paying off their debt, stop thinking about it. All right. I sound like this because I'm very, very passionate about this topic, just to let you know. I don't want to scare anybody away. Um, but stop it. If you're broke, stop thinking about saving and spending money, but creating it. You have to save some. But your focus should be on creating it. The focus should be the income, not the outgo. The income comes if the, once the income starts to flow, the outgo will handle itself. Positive imagery. So I had a coach here a while back, a client, and he was so educated, so educated, intelligent guy, really educated on all of his disorders. And he wanted to send me like a 20 page Word document with all of his problems listed, uh, social anxiety disorder, this disorder, um, problems with communicating, this, 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 okay? I said I'd read it. I still haven't read it, okay? I'll, go, I'll browse through it. Like I said, he said that you should really read it to know what a tough case I am. Now, I referred this back to a psychologist, but I also said, send it over. Why not? I love to focus on strengths, and you guys know this, but I told this guy, now for the next week, I want you to create a 20-page Word document studying things like fearlessness. Because this guy he used to go into the parking lot of shopping malls, okay? He used to go into the parking lot of shopping malls, and he just, he couldn't come out. The anxiety was so bad that he would just trap himself in his car and just sit there for hours. So what I told him was, why, why are you focusing on that? Why, for the next week, I want you to give me a 20-page document studying things like fearlessness, braveness, courage, hope, confidence. I want you to send me as many links as you did. And the next week he came to me, he told me, Let's call him something. Let's call him, let's call him Bobby. Bobby, if you're listening to this, <laughs> his real name isn't Bobby, but let's just say it was. The next week, he seemed totally different. Okay? He seemed like he was a different man. Walking, he walked into my uh, presence with his head held high, super confident, right? And I told him, yo, what's up, dude? What's going on? He said, well, I signed up for an improv class. Hmm. That's interesting. And then what he told me is he's, he, he now has a girlfriend. Okay? He's lost his virginity. And he, I haven't heard from this guy in a while, right? So now he's telling me, after a long time, if you're watching this, you know who you are. Okay, dude, <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I'm sharing the story uh, anonymously, of course. And if you're probably watching now, bro, your, your mind, you know this, man. Your mind was set on anxiety. And all you needed, instead of being an expert in anxiety, because you were an intelligent guy, I can tell you that. You use your intelligence to your benefit. Sometimes what happens is when we're too intelligent... Our mind is overwhelmed. We have so much knowledge. We don't take enough action. We're ana analyzing everything, every little intricate detail. You can't be free, right? But instead what you did was you, were, you became an expert on confidence. Your focus, where you shine the flashlight, shifted. 
right? And that was, that was probably something somewhat of an epiphany for you, right? People control you by making you weak. That's it. If you're just joining in, this is my super secret message. You're not supposed to be receiving this. Um, it's only for the top secret, um, for the people listening. Thank you for joining. That's awesome. But basically what I'm saying is whatever you want, immerse yourself in that. And I'm the billionth person to tell you this, probably. But whatever you put into your mind, it'll manifest into reality. So don't focus on the don'ts. What's really important is that you see that it's working for you. All right, thanks for tuning in. This was another Coaching with Zoom live stream broadcast. Make sure you, you email me on coachingwithzoom at gmail.com if you do want to coach with me. And make sure that you also check out my Instagram, that splash like Thank you for tuning in. Have an amazing day. High vibrational frequencies everywhere. Whew, let's shake it off. Retrograde, I know. Let's do this. It's going to be all right. Sending everybody blessings. Thank you for tuning in. Upward spot.